Nick. All right. Thanks, Zach, for that awesome intro. And I'm going to spend like two minutes just giving a little bit of context on kind of the problem that CASA solves, then I'll dive into the demo. So CASA, just in, in your one-liner, is a safe and simple way to hold Bitcoin private keys. There's an estimated 4 million Bitcoin out of the total 21 million that have been lost since Bitcoin was invented about a decade ago. And these are mostly due to mistakes and some due to theft. I mean, we've all seen the the New York Times article of the guy who's lost $100 million in Bitcoin because it's locked on a hard drive, right? And so um, this is a major problem for Bitcoin mass adoption from, from our standpoint. You're not going to invest a substantial portion of your net worth or your savings into Bitcoin if you're afraid of losing it. So the reason you can lose Bitcoin is that Bitcoin is secured by private keys. And private keys are actually a revolutionary technology. It helps you to actually own digital money. You know, you're not telling a bank to move it through the banking system like everybody here is, is familiar with. You are actually using cryptography and the Bitcoin network to send money without permission from anybody else. The problem with this is that since you are the sole person in control of that money in, in the form of Bitcoin through private keys, you have the drawback of if you lose that key, you lose all of your money. And so what people have done to, to fix this is they've said, okay, I'm going to leave my keys with Coinbase. I'll let Coinbase hold my keys for me. I will give up this freedom and control over my own money in exchange for security and, and knowing that Coinbase is highly unlikely to lose my money. So this is where Casa comes in. We're building a new type of product. It's a personal key manager, and this lets you safely and securely manage your Bitcoin private keys. And so I'm going to start getting the demo up here, but where before CASA, you know, you lose one key and you lose all of your Bitcoin. But what Bitcoin or what CASA changes is that losing a key is, is no longer such a concern. What we've really done that's unique in our setup is Sorry, I just had to type in this code. What we've done is that our setup uses multiple keys to protect one pool of Bitcoin. So if you lose one of those keys, you don't actually lose your money. And sharing my screen here, um, this is what CASA looks like. And you've got in this example here, this is, this is our highest security tier. You've got five keys. And these are all protecting this one pool of Bitcoin. So one key is on your phone, three keys are on hardware wallets. So these are like treasures or ledgers, basically, if you're familiar with what a hardware wallet is, it's like a little USB device. And then the fifth key is held by CASA. And so this is like your emergency key. And what's interesting is uh, it uses a technology called multi-sig, which means that you have these five keys, but you need three of them to spend Bitcoin. So whereas, you know, in a traditional wallet, you've got one key and you need that one key to spend. Here you have five and you only need three. That means if you lose one of the five keys, you still have four left and you can use three of those four to access your Bitcoin. So you can replace that lost fifth key and then use three of the remaining keys to transfer the funds to this new whole wallet. So this is like the savings account portion of your you know, decentralized, be your own bank type of, of account and wallet here. And then we also have what's more of like a checking account. So this is like just a single simple mobile key on your phone where I want to be able to send Bitcoin really easily. All it takes is my phone. I don't have to use these other hardware devices. We've tried to make this super visual and make it something where you know, people look at this and they feel like this is a consumer app that's designed like consumer apps today. One of the big problems, in our opinion, with the crypto ecosystem more broadly is that design just generally is terrible. People are designing for developers. They're not designing for actual consumers. And so we really tried to make it very visual and appealing looking so that people feel comfortable using this. Um, so to walk through us sending a transaction as like an example here of using the multiple keys to send. So let's say I want to send one, one BTC and I'm going to send it to my other wallet in here just to keep things simple. 
when I swipe up and confirm the transaction, what's happening right now is the key on my phone is adding the first approval to this transaction. So now I'm going to need two more approvals from two of my other keys. So this means that, you know, let's say somebody gets a hold of my phone and, and I'm using Casa to secure my Bitcoin. They can't actually do anything to steal my Bitcoin because they don't have the other keys that are necessary to move it. So I'll go ahead and add a second signature with a hardware wallet, like a ledger or a treasure, Trezor. And what this is doing in the background that I'm not showing you because this is our demo app in order to move a little bit faster, is it actually sends you an email and says, hey, plug in your Trezor to your computer and approve it from that hardware wallet. And so um, after they approve it, it's gonna come back here, say signed, okay, one more signature is required. One thing that we wanna do, I'll go ahead and go through the, the final signature here, but one thing we wanna do is actually, there's some new hardware wallets coming out that have screens on them and you can display a QR code and completely skip this email process and actually just transfer the signature from the QR code on the hardware device to your phone and then use a QR to send it back as well, which we think will be a real game changer from a, a UX perspective. So we've got these three keys that are have now signed the transaction and, and from the Bitcoin networks perspective, this is now fully approved and people can, I can broadcast it out to the network and, and funds will be transferred from, you know, this wallet to the other wallet where I sent it. One of the interesting and, and pretty unique things that we have done is instead of requiring people, since you have multiple keys here, you don't need to necessarily worry about recovering a key. Many people have, who have stored Bitcoin are familiar with a seed phrase. Seed phrases are these 24 word phrases that you know nobody really knows how to protect and they're in, they end up putting them in their sock drawer or something like that. And we just think that it's not a great user experience. With, with multiple keys protecting your Bitcoin, you don't have to worry about restoring a key if you lose it. So that seed phrase becomes much less necessary. So let's say I lose this hardware key. Instead of trying to restore it from a seed phrase, I can go into the app market as compromised or lost. And we give you a bunch of instructions here to make sure that you know, you're not doing something wrong. But once you mark it as compromised, we change the user interface to show you, hey, there's something wrong here you need to replace this key. And once you replace the key, it's really the same process as actually um, setting up the wallet in the first place and, and very similar to signing a transaction. So what we're doing is sending you a email that says, hey, plug in your new wallet and we're gonna connect it to your Casa account. And once they've actually connected it, it goes back to, okay, now you've got this healthy healthy key set, what you have to do is actually transfer the funds from the old unhealthy one to the new one using the remaining keys that you have, not the new one that you just added. So the app walks you through all of this and I'm not gonna go into that specifically for this demo, but um, the, the main key here is just that you actually don't have to worry so much about losing that single key. You just replace it with a new one and it gives you a lot more resilience and, and frankly allows you to make a mistake, basically to be a human, um, which, which Bitcoin didn't let you do before this. So um, I think I'm right at my 10 minute time here. So I'll just mention one other thing, which is that we put a lot of work into the help side of our app. So we offer a range of, of service levels where People can actually, um, you know, for people who are storing large amounts of Bitcoin with us, we have a, what feels like private bank white glove level service that people can actually call us up and ask for help. So with a lot of Bitcoin wallets out there, including something like a Coinbase, you're stuck in a support queue for days if you have questions or problems. And with Casa, we've really tried to make this feel like a very, uh, hands-on and helpful service because we know that securing large amounts of Bitcoin can be difficult and can be a little bit anxiety inducing. And so being able to call us and get on the phone with somebody from our team is a really important part of our offering, especially for the people who are holding large amounts of Bitcoin.